Good afternoon. We are coming to the end of week six. It kind of surprises me how fast it's gone. I think it goes slow and fast, but I think it goes fast because we're so busy and we have so many things that are good and interesting. For me personally, my four bills that I've talked about prior to this have all gone through the process and they're on the governor's desk to be signed, which I am so excited about. This is what you want is to be at this point in the session and have those bills be um, through, the, through the process. I do have another bill, and it's a bill that I had opened um, in the fall, looking forward to having something, um, the wording put in it. So this bill is looking at what I, have done, what I did last year on the reporting bills. So last year I passed three bills that set up processes to look at reports the, in the education community and from the state board level that looked at um, eliminating redundancy, eliminating reports that were taking a lot of time for educators. And so that process has gone through the state board this summer and they have come up with now two reports that they want to modify. So I got that um, information this week and we put it in a bill and that bill is going to be heard in committee this afternoon. So I really appreciate the work of the state board and looking at local LEAs to say what reports are the most difficult for you? What are taking the most time? Then they've made some adjustments and modifications to those reporting requirements. So this will be a great thing for education. One of our top priorities this year in the legislature was water. As you probably know, we're in the middle of a drought. And not only that, we've seen the effects of our growth in population and the drought on lakes like Utah Lake, like the Great Salt Lake, and as well as just the water allocations for cities and, and allocations that are going to go for each area and each, each home. And this was a priority for us. What are we going to do? How can we plan for the future? And how can we help with the circumstances we, that are currently in place for us? And we've had a number of pieces of legislation that we've passed this year that really have set up a framework to make good policy decisions regarding um, water. We've created some commissions and some co uh, committees that are looking at various aspects of, of the, our water situation. And they will be working hard this year and come back to us with recommendations of uh, other plans and policies that we can pass. Water is important. Uh, we live in the second driest state in the union and we really have to be proactive and thoughtful about what we want to do for our future. So I'm excited for what we've been able to do this year and how it's going to set us up for good policy in the future. Another thing I'm really excited about is some bills that have come through the education committee this year. In fact, a couple of days ago, we had several come through the same day and, and it was actually exciting. In fact, sitting in the room, people were happy and, and looking forward to some of these great things. And one is creating some days for teachers, planning days. So they were in existence in years ago, but when we went through the um, economic hard times, they cut them and teachers have missed those. So what this bill does, it sets up um, uh, several days for teachers to plan. And the thing that's great about this is each teacher can use those days as they wish with the approval of their um, principal and superintendent. And it's not, a, and school board, it doesn't go to the state and we're not telling them that they have to be used for professional development. They don't have to be used to sit in meetings. They can use them to do the work that they need to do in the way they need to do it. And this is going to be so helpful for so many teachers. I believe that one of the most important parts of education is the teacher and a teacher giving them the tools they need, which is time. In fact, someone said, we've now created time 
And that's going to be so great. Another one of the bills that I'm excited about is innovation in, in, in education. And what this bill will do, it will allow a teacher to come up with an idea of a, maybe a different way of teaching a subject. Maybe it's something that they've seen in another location, another state. Maybe it's something they've thought of themselves. And they thought, if I could use this method of teaching, I think we could really help students. And what they would do is come up with a plan and get approval from their principal. And then they would need to get approval from their local school board. The state would not have to approve it. But the local school board and the principal would give them the ability to maybe um, overcome or, or eliminate some of the regulations or some of the rules that um, would keep them from doing this innovative idea. And I'm excited because I teachers are amazing. And if you let them do their job in the very best way they know how and try out some of these new ideas, I think it could create some great things and we can learn. If there's something that doesn't work very well, then we'll know about it. But I think there's gonna be a lot of things that'll work very, very well. And then we can share and spread those to other districts and to other classrooms, other teachers. So um, those are two amazing uh, bills that I think will really be teacher friendly and school friendly and help education. And so we have one more week left. It's going to be a busy week. Um, during the last week, we have a few committee meetings, but we spend most of our time in, the, um, in our chambers, just looking at bills. We look at house bills, but hopefully most of our house bills will be now over in the Senate. So we'll be looking at a lot of Senate bills so that we can get them passed out before the end of the session comes. And as always, I love to hear from you. I have received many emails and I really appreciate it. It's great to know what, you've, um, what you're thinking. Have a great day.